Hi everyone. Today I wanted to tell you about the current status of neuroanatomy tools built around ImageAid. Neuroanatomy, of course, is the study of the structure of the nervous system, and at the basis of, of each is what we call neuronal reconstructions, in which 3D models of the morphology of single cells is obtained from images. Such reconstructions can be then quantified, ultimately giving us insights into neuronal function, neural development, physiology, and insights into how networks of neurons are assembled and wired in the brain. Neuroanatomy is an historic field, and that alone has shaped the design and implementation of existing computational tools. For instance, historically, there has been only the need to handle single-channel images, because historically, neurons have been labeled exclusively with a single filler dye or a fluorophore. However, nowadays experiments in cellular neuroscience have become more complex and now typically use multi-channel images, either static or time-lapse videos, in which neurons are co-labeled with intra and extracellular markers and other types of counter stainings. Because it is becoming more important to pair neuronal morphometry with other types of data, it also becomes more efficient to use standardized software that can be used across platforms and scripting languages. To address this, last year we released a unifying toolbox that we named SNT. SNT is an homage to Simple Neuroid Tracer, a visionary tool and one of the first Fiji plugins released more than 10 years ago. Here I am showing you a diagram of SNT functionality that showcases the different modules of the program. SNT is distributed with Fiji, supports multidimensional images, contains tools for advanced visualization and analysis, and analysis of both single cells and analysis of whole brain projectomes across species. And I won't have the time to discuss today, but it also bundles a simulation engine of neuronal growth for generation of synthetic morphologies. Importantly, SND can be used both as a multi-language scripting library or as a desktop program. Just to put things into perspective, this is how neurons are reconstructed in SNT. User, users click on the start and end of a neuron, and the program computes or traces the path between the two points. It is a highly supervised segmentation routine that requires human interaction, but yields the most accurate results. A couple of distinctive features of SNT include support of up to 5D images, the ability to interleave tracing tasks with other routines, as in, as in this example where intensity profiles of trace paths were obtained to identify sites of synapses along dendrites. Another aspect is that tracing can be performed in what we call layers. We will discuss this later in the workshop, but the idea here is that the program can compute curvatures on enhanced versions of the image without altering the original raw data. So when tracing on the filtery data, where computations are typically faster, users can more easily detect any sort of mistakes because they're always accessing the original image. Another key aspect is that tracing is fully scriptable. And this has been extremely use valuable and useful to us because it has allowed us to test accuracy of algorithms and benchmark their performance. But this is all published and released so now I wanted to tell you about some of the most recent unpublished work. So since last year, we have implemented other segmentation algorithms as well, customizable cost functions that perform better on certain imaging modalities, such as bright field imaging. We have also made tracing on secondary layers more user-friendly with a walkthrough wizard that simplifies adjustments of parameters. And finally, we've started adopting ImageLib2 internally, which is giving us a major performance boost and opens the door for the ability to handle big data in the future. As an example, I am showing you here a highly degraded image. On the left, you are looking at the published version of SNT, and you can see that the bidirectional A star search is having a hard time converging into a result. It is actually something quite unbearable to watch. The whole process will take more than 20 minutes. On the right side, however, you have the same algorithm now running under ImageLib2 data structures and the entire task completes in just two minutes, which is a significant performance boost. We have also been working on fully automated reconstructions in which user input is not needed, which of course 
speeds up significantly the entire reconstruction process for the images that allow it. So here I'm showing you such an example with our approach, the original image here, the result uh, highlighted in red. And as you can see, our results, yeah, it's comparable, is comparable to alternative algorithms uh, already published. And now I would like to highlight some of the capabilities of SNT in terms of analysis and visualization. The program supports a large repertoire of metrics for analysis of single cells and groups of cells, and includes more advanced feature, features for analysis of whole brain projectomes in Drosophila, zebrafish, and mouse, including support for common reference brain atlas in these species. Also, SNT has meanwhile aggregated most related Fiji plugins for development consolidation and also for user convenience. To give you an idea of the built-in tools, I'm showing you here a collage of snapshots taken from our example gallery, including a dendrogram, color-coded visualizations that highlight morphometric traits uh, across cells, a rasterized density map of a dendritic field, and different types of convex hulls, of convex hull analysis, and examples of built-in plots including polar histograms that we had recently, which are really useful to quantify orientation of dendrites and their, res their respective receptive fields. So all these are mainly 2D visualizations. So here is another collage of 3D illustrations, mostly handling our own mouse light data. So here you have a detection of the longest past in the axonal arbor of a pyramidal tract neuron in the mouse motor cortex. Intensity sampled around the signal of an axon. Some more sophisticated spatial analysis of branch point distributions in the thalamus. Or automated lists of innervation targets for groups of cells uh, in, in, in cortical areas in the mouse. I won't have time to showcase what can be done in terms of connectomics. But I wanted to leave you with a primer that we have implemented strategies to summarize innervation patterns across pain areas. As in these particular published, ex now published example showcasing different target areas innervated by single axons for different cell types in the mouse brain. All these analyses can be done from the GUI or via scripts. So let me show you how the scripting API looks like. So here is a Fiji example in Jaitun. The code on the left as typed on the Fiji on Fiji script editor and the result as on the right. You can see that we are using SciJava at parameters, which streamlines things quite a bit. And oh, by the way, we have also made in the context of this work several improvements to Fiji script editor, so I would encourage you to check that out too. And here is another example. Um, in this case, in a Python notebook, running from a PyImage environment that is aware of SNT. And here is the code that produces an interactive 3D scene backed up by SNT's uh, built-in reconstruction viewer. So as a summary, we have established SNT as a complete framework for neuroanatomy that aggregates several tools that before existed scattered across PG. It is flexible flexible in terms of the imagery that it can handle, flexible in terms of the type of analysis it can perform, from very simple single cell uh, morphometrics to more complex um, whole brain connectomics, and flexible in terms of accessibility as it can be used outside Fiji for PyImageJack. It is truly open source and has now a large user base being currently the most cited open source software for 3D, 3D reconstructions. And with, with that, I want to thank everybody that was involved in this project, especially a gigantic shout out to Cameron, who single-handed single -handed most of the recent work, including all the image, image 2 refactoring, Kyle and Ulrich that have worked on the Cortex-3D and Cyber integration that I did not have time to talk about today, Stefan and Stefan for introducing me to image 2 Curtis for ensuring SNT can be properly deployed to users, subscribe to the Neuroanatomy Update site, 
and everybody that keeps helping us along the way. And with that, I want to thank you for your attention and I will be eagerly waiting for your questions.